What's up guys, Brunsnick's back and I have the purple hammer urethane. Now this iteration has the light purple pin to indicate that it is conforming to PBA and USB-C rules. I'm going to compare it to my original purple hammer on the lanes. But first, before we get into all that, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, let's get these two on the lanes and see what they do. Okay, got the new purple hammer, haven't thrown a shot. So for those that don't have urethane or don't know much about urethane or don't like urethane or hate urethane, uh, there's a couple things that you gotta know about urethane before you get into throwing it. Now first, urethane balls need a little bit of a break in pretty much every time you use them. So the first shot out of the bag is gonna be the most hooking and then it's gonna gradually get oil in the cover and blend in. The other thing I like to do is, I don't wanna see any logos. So I'm gonna black out the little bullseye the crosshairs, and then we'll get to this video. Alright, now we got that taken care of. Let's throw some shots. Now, I'm going to start from further out, and it's going to take a few shots. I'm telling you, it's going to hook immediately. That's just what it does. So when you're warming up with urethane in practice, just know that don't make that adjustment off that first shot. Just stay there, let the ball get some oil. See, this is what it's gonna kinda look like after the first shot. Layout, I went with a four inch pin up by 20. That's the same layout as my other one. So let's throw in a few more shots. Get some oil in this cover. Staying in the same spot, it'll come to me. Okay. Big difference between going Brooklyn, not even Brooklyn, it just went through the, ugh, um, and dead flush strike. So we're gonna keep it there, try it out. And I gotta tell you, I. I love urethane. I love the purple hammer. I've thrown urethane so long. I threw it in league pretty much nonstop all last season. And I threw it at nationals, all six games, during doubles and singles. <laughs> Ouch. 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 That was rude. We're like three shots in, I'm already stone aiding. Thank you, appreciate that. This has been a magic ball. And what I mean by that is, this is the ball that everybody, since it's come out, and I think the original iteration was 2016, um, other companies, including Brunswick at the time, tried to copy. And guess what? Nobody got it right. I like it. I think I could give it a little bit of swing there. Not move in, but I think I can get it closer to the gutter. Yeah. I'm still in warm up mode here, but this is a ball that's going to keep you in play pretty much pretty much any pattern i mean the pros are they use this ball all the time even on patterns you don't think they should be using it on they use it on with great success a little bit of belly oh it started up early okay it hooks a lot from out there now my whole thing with urethane is I never want to swing the ball. You know, I never want to move in and hook around the pattern. I don't have the rev rate for it. If I got to move in, it forces me in, then um, I'm getting out of urethane. I'm going to resin. But once again, this, this cover is, is really dull. 
and I noticed this out of the box with the other one, is it was really hard to control when I first got it for about the first few games. And I'll show you the ball here in a little bit. Scrunch. So I've had this ball since 2020. This is the original now. I have never, ever touched the shell on this ball. And I have thrown a few shots today to warm up, but never touched it. This ball is so good. I use it all the time. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna compare it. But once it, once the surface blended in a little bit, smoothed out, got some oil in it, and this ball just became the legend that it is. That's my opinion. All right, I'm gonna switch to my original. Now you can see I've thrown you know half a dozen shots with the original, which is here. You can see the surface on it, and then here's the surface on my new one or my old one. Sorry. Yeah, so it's a little bit lane shined. Once again, I don't touch them. I don't touch them up with surface, nothing. People also ask, you know, why, uh, why do we have to make a change? You know, I'll answer that in a sec. I got that way out. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo. My money ball. Okay, so long story short, you know, bowlers were, PBA bowlers were angry that, you know, they were uh, basically getting run over with this ball. So what do they do? They, uh, they complain to the PBA, they change the rules once. The uh, 16s and 17 models were banned, I believe. You know, we replaced all those balls at Brunswick in good faith, even though we did not even make them, they were Ebonite produced. So, you know, we replaced those 16s and 17s, we moved forward, and then they go ahead and change the rule again. USBC changes the hardness minimum. So we have the hardness on this new one to conform. I think it's a point. So on the durometer, we're talking about a point to conform, and we're back in action. Guys have been using them already. This ball's been out on tour for a while now, since the tour started. And the guys that uh, normally strike a ton with it, Jacob, Kevin, Russo, they, uh, they still use them. That's a great shot. Oh. Yeah. Did I say I love urethane? That's the great thing is I'm, I'm gonna stay in the pocket all day with this one. I don't have the super rev rate. I'm not even sure what my rev rate is anymore. I do have Specto running, so I'm gonna put it up. So once again, this is the original green pin. Throw it a few more shots and we'll get back to the uh, purple pin. Uh-oh, I missed it at the bottom. Ah. Okay. So bottom line is, if you have a green pin, which a lot of you do, it's still perfectly legal to use. They're USB-C approved. The only ones that are not approved are the ebonite made ones with the serial number starting with six or seven. Everything that Brunswick has made are good. So all the hammer balls with the green pin and uh, you know a, a updated you know launch from Brunswick are all conforming. The only way you'd have to get a purple pin is if you bowl on the national tour. Then you got to get the updated because no urethane ball, not just purple hammer, but any urethane ball made uh, before August 1st, 2022 is no longer legal for competition. So going back to the purple pin, throw some more shots. I haven't moved an inch because this is kind of where I like to play urethane. There's not enough oil right now to play further right, closer to first arrow. I missed it. Ugh, new ball carry, baby. Yeah, so like doubles and singles last year, nationals, 
I was able to play around first arrow with the uh, purple all six games. Never really had a move, just a few tweaks here and there. I wanna see what happens when I uh, get a little further right. So I'm moving like a whole zone. I'm not really moving anything. I'm just moving like three and three. Yeah, for me, the, the key with your thing is always staying as far right as possible. You know, I don't, I don't hook around the ball. I don't try to hook your thing that much. I'm trying to stay more firm and out towards the gutter. If I could live out towards the gutter with your thing, I would pay rent. Not much rent. But yeah, I mean, this ball will just get better and better as you get more and more games on it. Let's try to keep that ball out towards the gutter as, as much as I can. See what it does if I try to get it to it. Trip four all day. I got to say that trip four, now that I'm in my 40s, is probably my favorite carry. I used to love when I get a messenger, and I don't get those very often, so I kind of said goodbye to those. But trip four, you know you're rolling it good. All right, let's try to get this out more towards the gutter, I guess, here. Look, there's a reason the Purple Hammer has been as popular as it has been. It just works. Pl plain and simple. Other companies do not have this ball. They don't have it. Let's try to go light mixer. I haven't had any of those yet. Let's see that light mixer Wally hit, if I can get there. Maybe. Okay, kind of more half pocket there. A little open rack so I didn't get that hit. Let's get this Wally hit. I want a light mixer before we're done. Maybe. Nope. Yeah, it's a little strong. It's what we want. You know, I'm not going to be able to throw enough shots during this video to really blend it out. That's going to be done over time. And the other thing that's really important is when I'm done bowling with this ball today and I go to bowl league or whatever, my first couple shots, especially that first shot out of the box, this ball is going to hook like it was out of the box again. So you need to remember that and know that your thing is pretty much always going to do that. All right, let's get that Wally hit. Just can't do it, ball just wants to read, which is perfect, you know, but I'm gonna go back to the, uh, the green pin, a couple shots, now that we have a little bit more games and traffic out there, and really kinda reiterate that there's not a whole lot of difference. The only real difference right now between these two balls is this one has hundreds of games on it and the other one's brand new. So this is the green pin again. I don't think we need another shot, do we? Let's go throw the purple pin again and wrap this video up. I can sit here and throw urethane all day. That's how much I like doing it. All right, swap out. All right, let's finish this out on a good one. All right, 
That's it for the purple hammer, purple pin. So all these balls are gonna be back filling back orders. So if you ordered a purple hammer and you've been waiting on one, this is the one you're gonna get. It's gonna be just as good as the original. No difference whatsoever. I didn't see it, did you? Take care.